Hello, my name is Rusa and I'm a vocal image maker. Did you know that you can change your voice like you change your clothes, your outfit? Anyone can learn to control their voice and articulate messages using different voices, depending on the situation. When we choose the appropriate vocal image, we increase the efficiency of our communication. If we want to express tenderness, but do it in a loud, bright voice, our addressee will not fully understand our tenderness. If we want to be convincing, but our voice sounds gentle, people won't believe us. Voice control helps us communicate our thoughts more clearly. Today, I'm going to tell you about a competent voice. It's also called an alpha voice, a leader's voice, or a persuasive voice. When you use this voice, people are more willing to listen to you and they are more likely to believe what you say. So, what makes your voice competent? There are six steps needed for the formation of your alpha voice. Let's check out the main three. Step one is the chest voice. Mm -hmm. When we speak with chest voice, people perceive us as uh, confident and stable intellectuals who know exactly what they are saying, as competent experts. We find it hard to believe in a person's competence if he or she has a high-pitched, restrained voice, similar to that of a child. Sounds instantly contact a person's subconscious, so it's very important to learn to control your voice in order to reinforce your messages. Your chest voice is a zone of competence. Step two is volume. A gentle whisper is more likely to seduce or relax than serve to convey a clear and competent point. It's important to learn to speak from your diaphragm, pushing the sound out with your belly. Not only will this skill help you sound competent, but it will also make your vocal system healthier and better tuned like a new piano. Volume is an important aspect of conveying competence with your words. Finally, articulation. Step number three. If you have a chest voice and it sounds loud but not articulate enough, your message will not be perceived as competent. Without clear articulation, you will sound like an embarrassed person with a low voice. Clear articulation shows clear thinking and transmits your message more effectively. Your addressee doesn't need to make any extra efforts to hear you. Articulation is about clarity. Try playing with your voice. For example, let's take the phrase Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's discuss serious matters. Pronounce it like this. I say, and you repeat after me. Gently, quietly, in a high voice. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's address serious matters. Now your turn. Now, gently, in a chest voice, with sluggish articulation, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's discuss serious matters. Now you. Well done. In a chest voice and with clear articulation. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's discuss serious matters. Your turn. Now in a chest voice, loudly, with clear articulation. Hmm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's discuss serious matters. Now you. Do you hear four different messages? Let's exchange opinions in the comments. I wonder how you hear the difference. So, the most important steps for the formation of a competent voice are chest voice, volume, and articulation. You can train all of them with our vocal image application. It's a smart app for people who want to take care of their voice and increase the effectiveness of their communication. I invite you to try it. Learn to sound easy, fluent and fun.